tell me a little bit about how you you came across us and you got into the program. Okay, sure. So I believe I found out about it on Facebook, I think. I don't know if it was an ad or if somebody reposted it. I think somebody reposted it in a Facebook group. I'm in a lot of like business Facebook groups. Yep. So I clicked on it. And then when I went on you guys' website, I saw you were doing the Black Initiative, you know, to yep. help 100,000 African American businesses. So I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So I signed up for it. And then I didn't look into it really until a few weeks later. And then I logged in and actually saw all of the forms and the websites and the different worksheets that you guys had. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And then I got the the invite for the coaching session. And then that's when, you know, a lot of different doors really started to open. So it's, it's really awesome. You know, like what you're doing is, it's really beneficial. And I share it all the time. Like anybody that I know that's in business, I'm like, please join this group, this community. It's really good. But so many people don't think that it's true because the world we live in now is kind of just, well, they saying this is free. I know it's a catch or they probably gonna want me to do something or things like that. But, you know, to my surprise, everything really is truly, you know, free of charge. And from for me on the outside looking in, it just seems like, you know, you truly want to help, you know, entrepreneurs because of how it was when you, you know, first started be, being an entrepreneur. So. And when you, um, when you first came into the, into the program at that stage of your business, what were the things that were on your mind? Not even about us, but just about your business as a whole. Um, so I was going through that procrastination phase, like, and that's totally not me. I'm normally on it. Let's get it done. Focus, no questions asked, but I'm going to blame the pandemic because it was like the pandemic was just getting, you know, deeper. It didn't really seem like it was a way out. And then the business that I'm doing is I'm opening a summer camp and private school. So yep. the pandemic strongly affects and impacts me, you know, starting this business, especially with it being new. You know, many people don't want to send their kids to something new, especially being in a pandemic. So I was honestly in that procrastination and the discouragement phase where I was kind of questioning myself, is this really what I'm supposed to do? Is this the route that I'm supposed to take? And then that's when I found out, you know, about you guys. And I started looking at the worksheets and um, I think it's a tab on there. I don't know what it's called, but I know it's like um, performance or something where you can like lay out your goals and actually lay things out to make it make more sense for you. So. Yep. Right. And that's, I remember um, that session where we asked, I forget, you know, it was probably 50 or 60, uh, not all, but mostly black entrepreneurs on there. And we said, how many people had goals? Mm -hmm. And not a lot did, right? Mm -hmm. A lot yes. of people had passion and energy and all the stuff we talk about. Um, yes. So obviously you took that very seriously. Yes. Right. And so tell us a little bit about kind of where you are and where you are now in terms of, let's call it direction for lack of a better word. Okay. So goals are, are really big to me. Like I, I love setting goals, especially, you know, my personal life. And I thought that's what I was doing in business until that session that we had when you asked, what are your goals? And I started to, to tell you and you were like, no, those aren't goals. Those are more of a task. Those are more things that you need to get done. So then I was like, oh, wow. So after that meeting, I really changed my whole perspective. Like I changed it thinking, what am I trying to get to versus what do I need to do? Because yep. it's definitely a difference. And I didn't honestly know the difference until that first session that we had. And then that's when I was really able to pinpoint, okay, my goal is to get five kids enrolled each week mm -hmm. up until the first day of summer camp, which is June 1st. So now that I did that, I'm not kidding, but everything changed. Like I have a different direction. Even my to-do list that I have every day has changed because I know I need to get five kids enrolled each week. So now instead of doing like not really necessary tasks, I'm like, oh no, let me go go into this Facebook group and try to get some, some friends that are moms and get them to share this so I can get those five people. So it's kind of like once you have that goal set, whether it's weekly, monthly, yearly, you have something that you're going directly to. So I think, I think you said it when you were saying, it's kind of like when you're driving somewhere and you know, you want to go to Tampa, but you don't really right. know the address. So you're driving and you can either pass it 
because you keep going or you can stop too soon and you can actually be a city away and you stop. Yep. So yeah, it was, it was honestly very eye opening. So, you know, that's a great example of somebody like you, who is obviously very directed, very motivated, has a lot that she wants to do and working really, really hard. Mm -hmm. It wasn't that you work, weren't working, working hard, mm -hmm. but, but as you just said it, what are the things you should wake up and do every day? And if they're not directed towards, toward those goals, um, prior to the black hunter initiative, where would you go for those types of answers? Like, like, how did you get to, how did you try to figure out, um, you know, what you should be ever doing every day or other aspects of your business? Um, I have a couple business mentors, so they are, you know, very, very helpful. Um, the reason why I am where I am today is because one particular mentor, um, he's in the childcare industry. So he honestly taught me everything that I needed to know so that I was able to get to this point. Um, but even still, you know, with his direction and my other business mentors, although they were telling me, hey, you need goals, I wasn't doing the right goals. Like I never told them, oh yeah, my goal is, I don't know, to get the website up, yep. you know? So because I never told them that, they weren't able to correct me to say, no, Tyreen, that is a task. That's not actually a goal. So. Yep. <laughs> yeah, listen, that's the, the journey, right? And, and yes. So now today, you mentioned the first one, which is enrolling five kids. What are your other goals? I know you shared a little bit. Share a little bit what they are now. Um, okay, so definitely the, the main one is to get these numbers. Because if we you know, reach a certain number of kids enrolled, they pay the registration fees, and then we're able to do more things you know, behind the scenes. And yep. then ultimately, the summer camp, the goal is to lead into the school year so that the summer camp numbers depending on the ages, they can just go and register for the school year as well. So those are the two biggest goals that I have right now for um, for the schools. And then I know I talked a lot last time, I'm doing, you know, like five different things. So I have my podcast. So my goal is to get to 1000 downloads. I'm at 530 today. So mm -hmm. I'm hoping to get to 1000 and then, you know, continue my goals from there. And ultimately, I would like to be able to get paid for the podcast, like get sponsorships and, you know, get affiliates and things like that so that this hobby can turn into another source of income for me. Awesome. So how does it feel um, feeling as if you're more directed, if you're always motivated, right? But how does mm -hmm. it feel when you wake up every morning knowing that you're your efforts are leading towards where you're trying to go. Honestly, Michael, like it's, I know people that watch is probably like, they paid her to do this, but I promise guys, I'm not paid to do it, but <laughs> it, it's life-changing. Like, I know I'm probably being dramatic, but it, it really is life-changing because when you wake up and you have a purpose, like I had a purpose before, which is get this business going, you know, let's get things done. But when you know exactly where you're going, it just makes things so much easier. So I feel like I was kind of in a rat race before. Like, I know I, I have so much to do, you know, I have two kids and one is in virtual learning, the other is one. So I'm balancing all of that and, you know, trying to get this business up and going while my husband works outside the home. So it's just, you know, me and the kids. So it's kind of like sometimes I was doing extra stuff that I didn't need to do because I didn't have that set goal. But now I have that goal of five kids each week, if something comes up, I can say no, you know, because right, right. I know where I'm driving to. So let's just say if, I don't know, if a fundraiser person wants to call me instead of a meeting to do a fundraiser for the academy, I'm not going to take that call if I have two other things over top of that that could potentially get me that five kids enrolled each week. So it definitely does change your direction. Yep. And then even at night, you know, when you get ready to go to bed and you think about your day, you can go back and say, oh, wow. So I, I updated the website and I know that's going to make a difference. I know that that's going to at least get one kid enrolled because parents are going to love the website. Yeah. Well, listen, um, as you know, we're going to help you every step of the journey, every journey. So this has been really great. And I think that, you know, a lot of times, you know, people have great energy and passion like you do mm -hmm. and are working really hard at it and the ability to say, okay, I've really got that specific direction. And, you know, when you get that direction, also within that direction, you get better at it, right? You mm -hmm. say, okay, I tried this, I tried this, I tried this, mm -hmm. because you kind of keep going after the same goals because you've decided that's what you're doing.